This game recap is brought to you by Manscaped's Foot Duster Foot Deodorant. Say goodbye to stinky foot funk with this essential deodorant spray. Head over to manscaped.com and use the promo code SACCITY for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. The Foot Duster Foot Deodorant by Manscaped. The best protection any place below the waist. Battle of LA, the Los Angeles Rams took on the Los Angeles Chargers and the Rams took the victory. Not 29-22. Aaron, what were your takeaways from this game? This was another one of those games where absolutely nothing. The only player I was really interested in um, to start was on the Chargers side. I, I told you I wanted to talk about the running game and how they kind of fixed that, but from a a specific player perspective was Isaiah Spiller. I wanted to see how he did. He looked okay. Didn't look special to me. Um, that's a concern for me. So I thought maybe he could have a special preseason. But um, so that was con- a little bit concerning. But I do think he'll be okay as a backup. Uh, and then in their run defense, and we Rams ran the ball a lot, so they got a lot of chance to to stop the run. Again, thirty five for you know one one oh one oh nine. Only get allowed three yards per carry. It wasn't bad. Um, so at least they're putting the emphasis on being more physical up front for the Chargers. But outside of that, this game is two teams that have a lot of talent on the starters, and then we don't really care who's backing anybody up because these teams aren't going to play their backups very much. Don't be surprised if Lance McCutcheon ends up being the wide receiver three for this team. Don't be surprised. I've been hearing a lot. I've been hearing a lot of good things out of camp about him, the rookie wide oh receiver God. there. In this game, he had two touchdowns. That's obvious. I mean, obviously the preseason performances don't matter that much, but 87 yards, two tutties. I think he ends up. Oh, he's number seven on the depth chart right now. And you think he's going to be he? the number three? Yes. Is he seven? Sure. On the Are you chart? forgetting Van Jefferson and, and Scroneck and uh, two, two? Well, 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 I think he jumps. Year? I think he jumps old Scroneck. No, he's not. I think I think he jumps old Scroneck. Oh my god! And I think I think maybe he will battle Tutu Atwell as the as the wide receiver three. Some Tutu of the Atwell plays like he was one. making, man. Some of the plays he was making, man, was were, were very very eye opening. Like he's got this some is, talent. He's this big is what body. you guys do. This is what you guys do. Now we got some content. Nobody's saying he doesn't have talent. The receiver position is much more than that, especially for a team like the Rams. When you already have Van Jefferson, Cooper Cup, and Allen Robinson, you aren't looking for a guy to come out there and make plays because you already got three of those guys. You know what you're looking for? You're looking for Ben Skronek. You're looking for a blocker, somebody that can do the things the right way, a smart player. Like, they don't need this this rookie to come in here, Lance McCutcheon, and be do breakout things. Like, that's not really what he's going to be there to do. Maybe somebody to develop. I just – I, I but, just really hope he makes the roster because I'm now looking, scrolling through Twitter, and it's like, oh, he's, yeah, Sean McVay not. thinks he's going to make the 53-man 53 ro- 53, 53 roster. That's a far stretch from where I just said it as the wide receiver three of this yeah. team. You, uh, this I wasn't going to go that happens high, in but... preseason. You can make special plays, well, but the I, NFL I, is about more than that. I mean, I also has have a with... roster spot for a reason. I, 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 we make fun of it, but he is an excellent special teams player and an excellent blocker. And I, that part of when I bring that up is not a joke. Like he legit is good at that. And that's his role on this team. They're not just going to cut a guy like that with that experience. So you have to find other ways to impact. Tutu Atwell was touted last year, supposed to be somebody that come right away. He got hurt, but he is an electrifying player that they really want to see something out of. So they're trying to give him that opportunity. That may be a guy that this guy can jump if he does, if things don't work out. But to get all the way up to number three, Van Jefferson still number three. Well, that's if Van Jefferson. I, I I did mean if that was if Van Jefferson stayed yeah. hurt, but that stayed hurt. I get what you're saying. Hey, I get, don't I get, come I get, back. I get, I get what you're saying. Hey, don't get <laughs> AJ, what were your takeaways from this game? It's just like the last game you kind of got. I was going to bring up Lance as well. I I really enjoyed it. the plays you were making. They were timely. They were the boundary catches the back of the end zone catches. There are things that you look at that keeps a player like that around. So like if you're seeing the injuries, then he's a guy that starts to creep up when needed. I no offense. I was never going to go to three, uh, but I, I I was going to say that he was going to stick around because he looked really good and and they started targeting him after he started making some of those catches. Um, And then on the charges side, I got really happy that it was all preseason players because that tackling was ass. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to have to hear Aaron talk about this for so long. But I was like, oh, none of these guys are going to be around. So maybe I'll be okay when the season comes. But 
It, there were there was just so Maybe. many gross missed tackles that ended up in touchdowns. You want to talk about how they got to twenty nine by throwing the four pass catchers because the Chargers were not tackling them at the fifty. So uh, that that's how stuff like that happens. But that was about it. So we, again, Michael very good Michael teams. Bandy has a better shot at being a wide receiver three than your guy. You get no argument from me here, but the Rams, yeah, the Rams host the Houston Texans on Friday and the Chargers will host the Dallas Cowboys on Saturday.